Hey, hey, this is the first mano a mano in this channel. Our contestants are Truman Boots Rambler, Smoke Ramblers versus Grand Stone Ottawa Boots. These ones are Storm Kudu. Um, many people have said in the comments that uh, it is kind of redundant to have these two boots because they're very close in color. So I thought I'd make this video and put them side by side so you could uh, you could see how close they are. Uh, Style-wise, they are very different boots and uh, they both have a spot and a different lifestyle depend on the kind of activities that you like to do. Uh, some of the similarities are that the leather comes from the same tannery. These both are from the CF Ted tannery in England. Um, Truman Boots here, the Smoke Ramblers made of cowhide. This is considered a fancy suede. A lot of character in the leather. This is the, the result of using the flesh side of, of the cow as a upper, finished upper in the, in the boot. And you can see all kind of, um, joints and cavities and all the stuff the cow the flesh side of the cow has and you give it a lot a lot of character to the boots uh, this one here kudu leather by nature kudu being a wild animal living living wild the leather also has a lot of character and uh and it's a very resistant leather, really, really uh, good for food wear, very lightweight leather. Uh, style, this one here, mock toe with a split toe, the Norwegian split toe design. Um, sole made more for uh, city walking, sidewalk walking. I'll think this one will be a casual boots that you style with chinos, button-down shirts um, for city activities, running errands, going to the mall, going shopping, school activities, school meetings, kids' school meetings, um, church, things like that. Really well made. Uh, uh, Grand Stone actually is a, a brand that is well known for quality manufacturing of footwear. And uh, Truman boots here with the cap toe style that is uh, very popular right now among uh, boot enthusiasts. Uh, it's a good boot to style with denim, maybe a denim jacket uh, for activities outdoor like hiking, camping, uh, going out on the trails, going to the lake, going to the park backyard barbecues with the family a lot of characters in the in the and the finish of the boot well made uh, 270 goodyear welt uh, leather meat sole uh, the mini log outsole with a lot of grip uh, i think truman boot since has changed the leather, uh, the the sole in this uh, in the in these boots. Now they have something they call the Eugene sole, which is their uh, proprietary design. But um, if you ask me, they both are great great boots. Here's a close up for you. Just making this video in case that you have in mind either of these two boots or you already have one and you're eyeing the other one and thinking that they are too close to justify them so hopefully this this video has helped you to make that decision and um, it's not a matter of which boots is better than the other one it's just uh, just a comparison and color pretty much both the uh, styles are very different everything is very different about the boots so that's all I had to say about them. Uh, my name is Ben. Thank you for tuning in to this uh, video. If you find this video 
entertaining or <laughs> informative, uh, please consider to give it a thumbs up to the video, subscribe to the channel, come back here for more videos next week. I'm not making these videos with the intention of sell you boots or uh, any uh, making money out of uh, these videos. I'm not sponsored by any mean. Uh, I'm just here to talk about boots, which is a subject that I, I have been enjoying for for the last few months. So thank you very much for tuning in and um, I hope to see you again next week. Until I'll talk to you again, please stay well and remember to wear your boots. Bye.